Hello, everybody, and welcome to Decred Distributed, where we talk to community members from all across the world about Decred. Um, I'm Dustin Lefebvre, marketing lead of Decred. I'm here with Jake Yilkampayat. Project lead and one of the founders. Yeah, good to have you here, Jake. Thanks so much. Today, we're going to talk about Decred in Mexico and Latin America with our good friend, Elian Huesca, if I pronounce that properly. Elian, are you there via Skype? Yeah, hi. How's it going? I'm great to be here. What a pleasure to meet you guys. Elian, you look wonderful. I'm used to uh, a cartoon avatar of your face and beard. It's great <laughs> to meet you in person. It's the Decred yeah, way. Yeah, outside, outside, outside of major, I'm, I'm always carrying my uh, Decred t-shirt. <laughs> Fantastic. Elian, you are, t tell us where you're based and, and how you got involved in Decred. Yeah, um, so, well, I'm, I'm based in Mexico. Uh, I've been around cryptocurrencies since 2016 that I started reading about it. And then in, like, mid-2017, I started, to, like, actually purchasing a lot of crypto. Um, so it took me a while to actually uh, buy cryptocurrencies. Um, mid-2017, I started reading about Decred, and I found it really interesting. Uh, I, I love the design. That, that was something that really struck me at first. And then in August 2017, no, 18, I met uh, Noah, uh, Noah Pierrot. I met him in Amsterdam. Uh, I was giving a talk there about cryptocurrencies in Latin America. And, well, basically, he kind of uh, introduced me uh, closer to the project and how the, the, the um, contractor model works. And, uh, yeah, it, it got me thinking how could I uh, contribute to the project. So, um, yeah, I started start basically uh, making meetups and connecting people and talking about Decred. Uh, here in Mexico, and now I'm I'm expanding, taking the world into Latin America. And and now here you are on Decred Distributed. <laughs> yeah. uh, who who knew that uh, Noah would be our number one recruiter? Yeah, Noah. Yeah, Noah yeah. Noah's pretty good at connecting the dots and 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 meeting people. And it's always it's always a pleasure when we uh, end up intersecting paths with people like yourself, Alien, who uh, who who get it and you know put their nose to the grindstone and and do the work. Elian, tell us a little bit yeah. about um, you know crypto in in Mexico, Latin America, like because because we're here based in North America, and I think you know we have really strong you know fiat currencies, hard currencies. We have strong legal systems, and it's not the, the same everywhere else in the world. And so I think if, if you can give us a little bit of a perspective on how it might be different uh, down where you are. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, for start here in Mexico, I think. Uh, the conversation about um, cryptocurrencies has been around since like uh, beginning of 2018. There's been a lot of regulation coming in place. Uh, at start, we thought that it was going to be a, a great example of regulation. Now we're seeing that it's actually not that not that great. Uh, we're seeing that regular, regulators um, are still left behind in terms of understanding the technology and how it can be possibly regulated somehow. Because of course, this is global technology that goes beyond any any law or boundary. Um, so, well, that's that's something that has been happening here in Mexico. And then in Latin America, I think there's different use cases. Um, you find places like Argentina uh, or Venezuela where where actually there is a, a use case for a store of value, for an alternative store of value. Um, and then you have other places like Brazil or Mexico where, yeah, money kind of works. So people are, are not actually thinking how, how to store their value. Um, however, I mean, things are happening all over the place. Uh, in, in, I mean, in Brazil, in Mexico, in Argentina, this is the, the three biggest uh, places for cryptocurrency industries. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're, we're still a bit behind from the rest of the industry, let's say in North America or, or Europe or Southeast Asia. But I think um, a lot of things are happening and the, the community is growing. Elian, like over and over, you know. What do you what do you mean when you say you're behind? Yeah, in terms of um, of adoption, for example, we have less users, we have less volume, for example. Uh, so the biggest exchange in Latin America has a volume of around a million five hundred dollars per per day. Um, so there's still a lot of a lot of um, you know growth uh, in the market that could possibly happen in the next years. Um, when you compare it to Europe or, or, or for example, ATMs in, in basically the U.S. have like 50 percent of the ATMs in the world. And in Latin America in the whole Latin America, we have one point four percent of ATMs. So there is there's still a lot of um, of growth in the industry, let's say. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about maybe some fundamental building blocks like, you know, 
percentage people who have mobile phones? What does the banking sector look like down in Mexico? And, and how does that affect, you know, cryptocurrency? You have like around 80% of the populations own a smartphone. So the, the um, yeah, adoption of technologies is growing fastly. Um, and, and yeah, I, th I think there are a lot of cases for, for, cri for cryptocurrencies to be a massive use, use case, particularly in the case of Mexico is remittances. So there's 11 million Mexicans in the U.S. sending around $30 billion per year. Um, and yeah, there are intermediaries who are taking between 5% to 10% of a commission. Mm -hmm. um, so, of course, global currencies as Decred really uh, have a, a massive um, use case in this in this scenario right uh, and in the rest of latin america as well remittances are really big and then you have places uh, as i said where monetary policies are not ideal and in fact people uh, find out what happened when money stops working the way it should and when and this is when when cryptocurrencies like decred really uh, have a, a a very they become a really interesting alternative so something that you know that i've experienced is i've spent a fair amount of time in argentina myself Something that I learned uh, that I found kind of surprising is that the invoicing laws are incredibly restrictive in South America. For example, if you want to invoice in a cryptocurrency, it's basically like a showstopper. You're not doing proper invoicing because of the way the laws work there. I'm hoping that, you know, with some of these recent developments, say with, uh, was it McCree talking with, um, uh, who is it, uh, the, the big VC guy? Tim Draper. Tim Draper. Yeah, yeah, ta, Tim oh. Draper, yeah. Uh, I'm hoping that conversations like that can kind of open open up those markets so that it's a little bit more e so it's easier to be legitimate because that's a real challenge in places like Argentina. But from a use case perspective, I mean, you know, I think you've got a you've got a great point, which is places like Mexico between the U.S. and Mexico. There's a huge remittance use case, and then in places right. where the you know the currency is less stable, like Venezuela and Argentina, there's a massive you know opportunity to use things like Decred as a store of value. Yes, definitely. Yeah, which only highlights the importance of the mobile app, which has recently come out. Is that right, Jake? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm not super on top of the mobile app and where it's at. Uh, you know, I'm not in charge of releasing that, so it's, sure. it's hard for me to make a quality. Elian, have you no, plugged in? Definitely. I, I think I think there is a we need. I mean, as a project, I think we we there is still a, a, like a place for for develop these kind of solutions that go into mobile. Uh, mobile devices, uh, because yeah, definitely the way the way uh, people is is getting to know with technology and social media and social platforms is through through um, mobile phones. So yeah, definitely we we I, and I think that the last release uh, for the Android wallet is really good. I'm I'm looking forward to test the the iOS version of the Vcred wallet. Fantastic, Elian. Now you've got a couple of events that you've been to lately and that you have uh, planned in the very near future. Can you tell us a little bit of, first about Bitcoin Day in Argentina? Yes, uh, Bitcoin Day in Argentina was great. It was a great opportunity to meet with the, with the, with the sort of a, the community of, of users, but also the community of entrepreneurs and developers that are working in projects in Argentina. Um, they were really, really excited about uh, Decred and to find sort of a, to, to see Decred uh, going and connecting with these communities and in these events. Um, it, it was really nice to see that uh, it, it is a, a known project by the people that is very deep into the industry. Um, and also it was really nice to connect with a lot of uh, uh, people that is uh, in the industry with, uh, you know, the LATAM representative from, for OKCoin. OK he was in, in the San Francisco meetup. We got the chance to, to talk. He was like, really happy to see uh, um, a talk about Decred in Argentina and also with other uh, regional exchanges. Um, so yeah, I think it was a great opportunity. I really think um, this should be our first, but not our last time there in Argentina. And of course, uh, it, I'm I'm really uh, happy to see that uh, there are a lot of uh, events coming on during the year. Um, and then th it, that takes me to the next event that we're having here in Mexico. It's going to be Talent Land. It's the biggest uh, technology event in in Mexico. I don't know if in Latin America because uh, Campus Party in Brazil, I know it is really big too. Uh, but we're expecting around 33,000 people, and this year we're going to have a, a, a particular sort of area of the of the fair called Blockchain Land. 
which is uh, dedicated to blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies. So there's going to be basically all well, the major exchanges in the country are going to have a stand there. Uh, we're going to have uh, a really a really cool stand. We're going to be sharing a lot of uh, a lot of pictures and live streams from from the event. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great to have the to have Decred uh, in in Talent Land. And you'll be presenting over Talent Land, is that right? Yes, uh, so we're, we're presenting one conference called uh, Decred Fundamentals. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a, a high-level overview of, uh, of Decred's uh, blockchain, uh, uh, hybrid blockchain, um, its ethos, uh, cypherpunk ethos, um, how does it work, uh, the contractor model, Politeia. Um, yeah, it's basically just like a lot of the, the main aspects of Decred. And then we're having uh, a more practical workshop that is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to be called I think it was uh, Deep Cred, Politeia, and and the Crediton in practice, and this is going to be a workshop for um, and, and for developers and also the general publics uh, to to learn how to use the Crediton, how to make a proposal, and also to present the the contractor model to developers that might be interested to to get to know more how to how to contribute to the project. Yeah, and remind us once more where and when is Talentland? So yeah, Talent Land is going to be in Guadalajara, Jalisco, which is a west state here in Mexico, and that's going to be from the from April 22 to April 26. We're going to be there. Fantastic. So if somebody is in Mexico, is going to be in Guadalajara, April 22nd to 26, you can yep. find Elian and the Decred team down there. So Elian, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing uh, all about what's going on in Mexico and, and a little bit wider into Latin America. Um, so Yeah, of course, it's my pleasure. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to take Decred to other countries and to other uh, um, expos and festivals. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on what's coming on here in the region. Fantastic, we'll stay in touch on the next episode yeah, of Decred Distributed.